Hello, this is Chris with ElevateNet doing another unboxing. Now, this is a super micro server we just recently got in for another project we're working on. I uh, haven't opened up this unit yet, so I figured I'd do a quick video just showing how this uh, unit comes packaged and explain what we're doing with it. So this is the super micro super server. This is the 5018D-FN8T. This is the Xeon Mini. So what's nice about this is it is a rack mount unit. It does have 10 gig SFP plus LAN capability uh, with a multiple different uh, Ethernet ports built in as well as an expansion port. Uh, you do have the capability of M2 on board as well as uh, serial ATA so you can do either a couple uh, two and a half drives or a single three and a half. We're actually planning a M2 as the boot drives as well as a 10 terabyte uh, three and a half, and we're going to be hosting Zen server on this unit with a handful of different VMs, so we can have a number of different virtualized machines or servers on site at the customer's location with a single uh, physical hardware. And then we're going to be backing up the entire virtual server to the Elevate Net uh, data center. So if there is any issues with anything on site, we have a full backup of the entire system with for uh, with the sake of doing easy replications back on site if it. Uh, ends up being necessary. So let's start opening this up. The box is pretty straightforward on the outside, just says super server all over it. Alright, so opening up the top of the box here. We just have the uh, styrofoam packing on the top. Oh, the unit is actually physically a lot smaller than I expected. So here's the server itself. This is a 1U system. I knew it was a 1U, uh, but that's a whole lot of horsepower built right into this 1U chassis. Uh, looks like we have a little hardware good a bit here. And then other than that, it's just a box. So I'll set that off the side here. All right, so there's the 1U server itself. First, let's take a look at what we have here. I'm imagining this is going to be power and a couple other things. Yep, so we have the power cable, twisty tie, some rack mount hardware, serial ATA cable. Uh, this is a power Molex to serial ATA power. Uh, this is a Y cable here. Some rack mount hardware. Some small nuts and screws or nuts and bolts for the sake of uh, mounting hard drives by the looks of it. And so that's it. Uh, looks like we do have the rack gears are built into the chassis, so that's convenient. Let's see if there's an easy way to open this without cutting. Yep, looks like the whole thing is just in one bag. And within the bag here on the unit, it just has a little uh, quick checklist as far as what's been included with this particular model. So again, this is the SYS 5018D-FN8T. Uh, indicates as a bag of screws and ties, power cord, um, the serial ATA extension cable, uh, another serial ATA cable, hard drive screw bag. Uh, as well as some information by quality assurance by and inspected by. That's just beneficial to have. Let's take a look at the unit itself. So this is the front of the super server. Now, like I said, the nice part about this is there's a lot of connectivity options. So you do have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six Ethernet ports built in here, as well as dual SFP plus. So you can do 10 gigabit fiber off of this or you can do uh, 10 gig Ethernet if you wish to. Uh, we're likely going to do a simple little jumper cable, so the SFP is built in the cable itself straight to the switch, because this is going to be mounted in the core rack, so it's actually going to be uh, probably just a couple U's away from the switch itself. Uh, and then you do have a management port, so you can have that offline management. You can do remote uh, console into the unit itself. You can initialize power reset functions, etc., etc. And then we do have dual USB 3.0 here in the front. Um, simple power reset button, and like I had mentioned, 
the rack hardware, the rack gears itself, built right in the unit. Uh, and then here on the front here we have the uh, expansion slot as well. Now the only downfall, now granted it is a 1U, but I would prefer to see dual redundant power supplies on here. Redundant power supplies would be quite beneficial just for the sake of bringing in secondary circuits. Um, have a separate UPS. Now we are going to have a large UPS and an, another unit that we unboxed uh, earlier in this series. Uh, but this will be on UPS, but like I said, it is nice to have uh, redundant power supplies just in case there is a power supply issue. Um, that would help make sure the system stays online. But it's a pretty straightforward, quite uh, quite slick, streamlined little 1U unit. There is a lot of power in this 1U unit. That's kind of what's nice about uh, these systems. Nowadays, you can put so much power, computing power capabilities within a 1U rack space. And this 1U server, physical server, is going to give me multiple different virtual machines that I can house inside. With uh, so We're actually custom building a video surveillance uh, recording system into this. And that's where that 10 terabyte drive is going to come into effect. And then now, because of that, and because of the way that we configure everything, we'll be able to take all these virtual machines, so the actual servers, that live inside this physical server will be redundantly uh, pushed back up to the Elevate Net cloud so we'll be able to house everything for their backup on our data center so if they do have any physical issues or this thing gets destroyed by lightning or any number of things that might happen or the entire place burns down uh, that's kind of the worst case scenario but as, as they always say is it plan for the worst and hope for the best so if we plan for the worst thing happening and we won't be caught off guard and, if you lose all of your on-site servers, a lot of data loss, that can be a big issue for a company. So we try to plan for the worst and just always kind of hope for the best there. But this is, uh, like I said, a pretty simplistic system. I'm looking forward into delving into this. Um, the model number again. This is a Super Micro, Super Server, 5018D-FN8T. This is a Xeon with the uh, multi-Ethern option, and this does give you that dual SFP plus that makes a big difference when you're dealing with uh, a lot of data pushing around there. So um, I don't have a whole much else to say. We haven't really opened this thing up or done much else with it. Looking forward to putting this in production and get some more work done on it and uh, should prove quite beneficial for our end client. So again, this is Chris with Elevate Net doing an unboxing of this Super Micro Super Server. Thank you for watching.